Pharmacies and specifically the Islamic Pharmacies, the Salavizam, the Al Jamal, the Sami, and others. Is there anyone that has like a roadmap for the constitution making process? You were earlier talking about the inclusivity of the process. Is there any, like the role of the parliament? Will there be an independent commission? Will there be a participation in all the governance in the issues of social and economic rights? And like whether they want like labor market or what? what's the type of the constitution they want? Is it going to be a making of a new constitution or is it a review or what is the process? Is does anyone have a map, road map for that, or a vision, or something like that? Okay. <laughs> what time is it now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the first question, for Azhar's de uh, declaration or the document, uh, it is a moderate uh, document, and, it, and it is, I think it is agreed by all sides. Uh, I didn't uh, read it carefully, but... Uh, Maybe it says everything, and you are if, if you are saying everything, you say nothing. Okay, so it says that we want democratic, modern, uh, national, progressive Egypt. So who could say no? I want to have regressive Egypt or uh, things like that. So uh, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, I think uh, all sides are. Uh, they, have, they don't have a problem with this uh, uh, document, uh, and sometimes they use it politically, saying, let us go to Al-Azhar uh, uh, document or declaration, and as I said, it is not the text of the explanation and application of the text. This is for Al-Azhar. Uh, the, the other question was about uh, the constitution. Uh, no roadmap. Actually, uh, media is playing a very bad uh, rules uh, with very, very superficial discussions, uh, and they are maybe as mass media all over the world. They are looking for things, old things, uh, attractive. Uh, for example, a young. Uh, girl uh, had the, uh, her picture naked and she would uh, uh, her uh, things like that things like that uh, they they just inviting the, the same people the same uh, uh, the same speakers as before the revolution to say the same the same fight between secular and Islamic they for example they don't focus on what is new. For example, to have a leftist uh, parties with a new Islamic uh, Muslim Brotherhood, yeah, some, if I'm working in media, mass media, it is something to explore more, to explore the new things, the fresh things, uh, fresh people, to invite young people just to, uh, to listen to uh, um, what they say. No, they are stuck to the same faces, the same topics, the same talking. For example, they are talking, or it is a little bit there to ask about the relation between uh, religion and state. But nobody, and I, uh, when I am saying nobody, it is nobody is discussing the relation between state and society. About personal freedoms, about such things such very important things. So when we are talking about the uh, relation between uh, state and religion, even in the traditional uh, questions we are talking about for decades, we are saying the same answer that the second art, the second art is there, we will not change, and Islam is different, that Islam is uh, related to all aspects of life, and we are moderate and Egyptian, things like that. Crap. No deep things, no harsh questions, no real answers. And some discussions are completely absent. Completely absent. And if you are talking about uh, a society going out from totalitarian regime, you are talking, no institutions actually, no social, a, a real social dialogue, 
and you only have military and have media. Two M's. <laughs> and Muslim Brotherhood. Three M's. <laughs> <laughs> we have media, we have military, we have Muslim Brotherhood. So media is playing a very uh, an essential role, but it is credible. And if you are, you are, <laughs> you are putting, okay, I have no focus. Uh, so, uh, we, at the end of the day, we don't have a real road map for, for even what are the opinions of people uh, uh, towards such things. Is it, uh, is it um, pro-liberal society, for example, the way it is individual rights, things like that, or social rights, or what? The, the questions are not there. <laughs> you know, as if it is clear, it is well known, and I don't know what is well known. <laughs> we, I, I was in a conference, and there were three leaders of Islamic, different Islamic groups, and the conference were, was about uh, the, uh, the religion and state, this debate, the uh, uh, relation between religion and state. And I asked them three or four questions, just to give you uh, uh, an idea about what's going on in their heads. I asked them several questions. Uh, them, uh, several questions. I asked them, Okay, you are talking about Islam is great, I know, and I believe I am Muslim, and I know that Islam is great. Okay, let us talk about application. There are two states in the world now. They declare these two states, that they are Muslims, and these are Muslim regimes. And I want to, from you, to give me...